Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by one of Atlanta's greatest families, families. one who we single out today, and Rodney Mims Cook Sr. Uh, as we are stand here as, as the City Council um, with, with proclamations. The Atlanta City Council in honor of the Mims family. Whereas it is with profound honor that we recognize over 170 years of the Mims family heritage in Atlanta, Georgia. The Mims legacy began with Azariah Mims, known as Squire Mims, due to his legal expertise and authority in Fulton County, who was an advocate of peace and the protection of the Union, despite his prominence in the cradle of the Confederacy, and whereas Squire Mims refused to allow his sons to fight in the Confederacy, and aided General William T. Sherman's forces in a critical manner, which brought about the fall of Atlanta and assured the re-election of Abraham Lincoln previously and in probability and whereas the generations of the Mims family continue to steward this city and state through two additional world wars and champion peace during the civil rights movement working with mayors Hartsfield and Allen, Martin Luther King Sr. and Jr., Robert Woodruff, William Holmes Borders and numerous others and whereas the Mims family perceptive and moral stance were quite controversial in the Old South generating threats against Betty Jo Hogan Cook that compelled Police Chief Herbert Jenkins to personally act to protect the family and whereas the family also led Atlanta to greater levels of beauty and prominence influential in the preservation and the realization of the Olmstead historic Mems Park, Atlanta's first desegregated park and playground, the Tomachichi Monument, and Sidney Lanier Monument at Piedmont Park, the landmark 19th century Peachtree Christian Church, the relocation and restoration of the historic Tully Smith House uh, to the Atlanta History Center grounds, and the historic Fox Theater, the Mems Obelisk at Old Brookwood Station, and the Prince of Wales Monument of the Olympic Games and the Millennium Gate Arch, the Georgia History Museum, and whereas we acknowledge and commend the rich history of the men's family, what is graciously bestowed six generations of bravery, dedication, and service upon this great city. Now therefore, we, the members of the Atlanta City Council, and on behalf of the citizens of Atlanta, hereby express our deepest gratitude to the men's family for their patronage and sacrifices on behalf of the state, and the city of Atlanta on this fifth day of December 2011. This is to the Mims family. This one's for you. Okay. <laughs> I'll stay here. <laughs> In honor of Rodney Mims Cook Sr. Rodney Mims Cook Sr., a fourth generation Atlanta, was elected at large to the Atlanta Board of Aldermen in 1960 and later elected to the Georgia House of Representatives at large where he held office for over 20 years. Many of these years he continued to serve as alderman and whereas the honorable Rodney Mims Cook senior sought to maintain peace in the city of Atlanta during a period of cultural upheaval and change in the state of Georgia and throughout the country he was the first public official to denounce the construction of the Peyton Wall barricade stating there was no place in America where we ever wall ourselves off from our fellow Americans. His speech is archived in the Hargett Collection at the University of Georgia Libraries. And whereas he was among the brave few who voted to seat the Honorable Julian Bond in the Georgia House of Representatives, compelling the Supreme Court of the United States to place Bond in his rightful office. And whereas despite direct threats against his wife and children, a KKK cross burning on his yard, and bomb threats, Cook held steadfast to his belief and unrelenting in his mission to keep Atlanta peaceful and to further her reputation as described by his mentor, Mayor William B. Hartsfield, as the, a city too busy to hate. And whereas his actions collectively with like-minded citizens greatly contributed to an era of unprecedented growth for this city and state, Cook was instrumental in, in the completion of the Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, the Atlanta International 
Hartsville Jackson Airport, the Interstate Highway Downtown Connector, MARTA, and Underground Atlanta. And whereas Rodney Mims Cook life work, notably his service as a naval officer on the USS Depage and the Pacific Theater during World War II, is a monumental testament to his courageous commitment and zeal to help that helped to inspire a world-class city and state. Now therefore, we, the members of the Atlanta City Council, and on behalf of the citizens of Atlanta, hereby express our deepest gratitude to Rodney Mims Cook Sr. for the countless contributions to the city of Atlanta on this fifth day, December 2011. Rodney Mims Cook Sr. Thank you so much, <clears throat> and thank you for inviting me and my family back to City Hall. It's changed so much, I'm not sure I would have recognized it if I hadn't known where I was, but uh, it's brought back many memories of hard-fought battles and uh, City Council battles won and lost. My old warrior friend, Judge Richard Freeman, was always at my side, and I would like to acknowledge his widow, Christina. Where's Christina? There she is. <laughs> Who is here to share this day uh, with my family and me. My mother and father, Beth Mims, and James Cook instilled in me a sense of service to my fellow man and my city. I'm hopeful that you will think that our generation has done our job and delivered to you a brave and beautiful city. My son likes building monuments and parks, and I've been on him to put a special one back in Vine City, English Avenue, a neighborhood that was always good to me. So, Memzo, uh, quit talking and get to work. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me back. Uh, it's a great honor. Thank you. <laughs>